anybody here? Wow, you look like Albert Einstein. I am Professor Einbach, the director of this laboratory, not Einstein. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I guess you must get a lot of comments that you look like Einstein. I do, but I assure you, I'm not Einstein. I'm Einbach. Right, well, I'm Tom Scout's fiancé. He's a researcher here, and I haven't been able to find him for a few days. Tom? Right. He's my assistant. Well, I haven't heard from him in three days. He's not answering his phone, and I thought he might be here working hard to meet some crazy deadline. That's right. Tom's very busy. Mmm, <laughs> you smell like lilies of the valley. That's right. It's my perfume. Do you like it? Oh, how I love that smell. My head is spinning. Oh, I feel sick. Professor, what happened? He must have passed out. photo of my wife. I've kept it on my desk for more than 20 years, but it recently went missing. She was holding a bouquet of lilies of the valley in the photo. I guess the smell caused me to pass out. I understand. Some things like that happen. Now, I'd like to talk about Tom. Ah, right. Tom. Uh, Tom flew to a conference. I think he's either in Tokyo or Amsterdam. I can't remember. He should be back in about a week. Amsterdam? What are you talking about? We're getting married in two days. Married? Hmm. I guess you'll have to postpone the wedding then. Are you kidding? I demand you take me to his desk right now. Sorry, but only employees have access to the laboratory. It's strictly forbidden for you to enter. Besides, Tom's not in there. You're clearly hiding something, Professor. Well, don't worry. He'll be back. I, on the other hand, have been without my wife for 30 years, and she's not coming back. The missing photo of my wife. Good heavens, someone hung it behind the clock. Hey, let me have it. Give it to me. I'll let you have the photo after you let me inside the lab. Fine, here's my access card. But I'm telling you, Tom isn't in there. Now give me the photo. Oh, Gretchen, my beloved Gretchen. mobile phone. Hmm. Now let's see. Last number dialed. 3008 AD. 3008 AD? What a strange contact. It must be a club or something. Don't touch that telephone. But this is Tom's telephone. So you'd better just explain this 3008 contact. Do you know anything about it? Yes, but don't even think about dialing that number. And why not? Because that telephone is a time machine. You'll get transported to a different time. Professor, you're clearly still suffering from your little fainting episode. I need to find my fiancé. Give me that phone. I'm... Don't do 
it, I beg you.